And so what I didn't know at that point to your thing was, I was doing things that he had failed earlier in his life, recovered his marriage, that I had failed at earlier in my first marriage. And only after I got out of that company did I kind of realize after about six months, because I came home from my wife and said, I've negotiated my way out of operating day to day. Um, I'm just gonna take the next six to 12 months and just spend time with you. You don't only know me as a founder. And she just erupted in tears because like, we didn't spend time together. And I, and I was like, oh my gosh, Reggie was entirely right. Creating curiosity by asking better questions. This is Shed Talk. I either want to jump into a burning ship and let's turn the ship around and go win the industry, or let's do something that, that people will look back at and go, how in the hell were you all able to do that with that small of a team? And to do that, you have to hire people that are incredibly good, which often means hiring people that haven't been in the exact industry. They're gonna think differently. They're gonna be super skilled at the job you're hiring them to, but I almost need you to have a diversity of thought versus other people. Now you know, Shed Talk.